awesome food at all of your properties, but you have an incredible craft beer selection. Beer is very much a part of our longstanding heritage here at Treetops, and it, it predates me, and it's just something um, I happen to be lucky enough to come into right as uh, this Michigan craft boom was taken off, and so I've been I've been on this wagon from the beginning, and, and we've really embraced it, and we teach to it, and everybody's got to go through classes before they even you know work a day on the floor serving, and we take it serious. It's a lot of fun, though. Where do you sign up for that class, Gabe? Because <laughs> I, 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 I think I missed that. There's a couple <laughs> classes that I missed. This one I will not miss. I will not be absent. I will be there on time, and I will stay till the end, and I will do all my homework, sir. Thank you. <laughs> you won't even heckle the instructor? <laughs> I will not. I will praise him. All right. <laughs> appropriately you do ask a lot of questions though right sometimes you just have to yes. maybe sample again you might have to sample yes. again yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm understanding not sure. the sharpest got, student this has got complicated flavors I think we need to go through this again <laughs> and that would be the way I would handle that because the Thorough only learner. question that is not a good one is the one you don't ask oh dang you better have a we class went, we went from uh, <laughs> from one extreme to the other that got deep fast <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun though I'm, I'm glad that you are doing that taking it seriously nothing is more frustrated I mean I go to a lot of restaurants and bars obviously and when you run into someone that like hey have you ever heard of, have ever had it too hearted before you know when they really don't know much about it right and they're ship, sending you to one beer usually and- when they ask me that question I, I laugh until I snort because <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's ever had the number one IPA in the United States or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. I like the ones that are though honest though. Like I, I'm just learning, there, but they want to learn, mm-hmm. correct? Right? Sure, and that's good too. And you know, shameless plug too. Uh, February second, I believe this year would be our craft beer and wine festival. Ah, oh, that's a great time. <laughs> that is a great Paul. time, and you guys have done a really marvelous job. There's a lot of big craft brewers in Michigan that have done well and and deservedly so. But you guys have done a nice job. There's been a lot of upstarts too that need that push and that need that exposure. That it's a little bit harder. And I think you guys have done a really amazing job over the years of bringing, you know, those folks in and making them feel welcome and making sure because you know some of those small batch breweries are just doing a fantastic job and a lot of them. It's about the heart and about a dream, and they're just really, you know, doing a great job. Well, one of the things I love to talk about when it comes to this, our craft beer and wine festival is not only are we going to have our conference center completely filled with Michigan craft breweries, there'll also be Michigan craft vineyards in there. And when we started this from the beginning, we, we decided that this needed to be a Michigan only event. So, um, it might be sad that we don't see something like Goose Island there, but they're not from Michigan. So you won't. The other thing we really drive home at this from the vendor standpoint is we don't let the wholesalers just send who Whoever they want to represent whoever they want we require somebody from each brewery or vineyard to actually be there to man their table in order to actually hold a table at the event one of the neat things that happens this creates a really cool atmosphere where there's an entire room appears and they say it's the only time out of the whole year they actually all get to get together because a lot of times this isn't the case at these festivals it might be cousin you know cousin floyd pouring the beer somewhere you know and and so the fun thing really is too is these guys go out afterwards and they party like it's 1999. We don't because, know anything about that because <laughs> well because it's the only time out of the year they're really they in the whole room. Each other's so, craft beer. Oh right? yeah, they do, and they all seem to bring special things too. And and so I mean, it, but it's it's fabulous time. I, th- I think last year we had somewhere around a thousand attendees. It was packed um, last year. Oh, yeah, it was I mean, it really was really great. It was crazy, and so this thing's really grown over the years, and we're very very proud of the of the Michigan following that it's created. When do tickets go on sale for that? They're online now, so you can go right on the website as of right now and purchase them. It's live. Well, I know personally that event culminates in one of my favorite all-time days of the year (laughs) that I've been doing with my host of this radio program. (laughs) But it's something, you know, we've talked about it, but it's something that people can do. We run the Frosty 5K. We take a little break. We grab some breakfast downtown at Diana's. Mm -hmm. We go do some snowshoeing. We have a little uh, beer tasting. We grab yes. some dinner out at the Treetop Sports Bar, and then more beer the big event. <laughs> the big event. But what I'm saying is that's that's a type of thing that we can do in Michigan, and I mean we're fortunate to do it. But you know, a lot of people are able to do that kind of mix the outdoors 
and some of the great fun that you can have. And that's, you know, we've talked about winter earlier, but there's just something nice about getting out, enjoying that fresh air that makes the food taste a little bit better and makes the beer taste a little bit better, really. You don't have to feel guilty then. Right on. That's right. Well, <laughs> and we should say that when we do our special winter day, is it's all part of Gaylord's Alpenfrost event, which is happening the first weekend in February. It is, and I bring you guys to events that, that, we, uh, that we have that anyone can sign up for that have really become, that's become a really a, a landmark winter event for us. And, you know, treetops came in, uh, out of the gates and it kind of grew slowly and now it's become really a highlight event but uh, go to gaylordalpenfrost.com and you can get information about the frosty 5k and all kinds of polar plunge and all kinds of really fun winter related events it's a great weekend i love it all right you know what we have to get to now beer, beer of, of the, the week, week. <laughs> I know you guys have been waiting all year to do that with oh, us. Oh, <laughs> man, I love that. <laughs> Gabe uh, from Treetops Resort, you're the food and beverage director. We has, asked you to pick a beer of the week. What did you pick for us? Well, I picked what's kind of been the new shiny toy in the craft beer market in Michigan this year, which is a New England New style, style IPA. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So who did you pick it from? Petoskey. All oh, right. Yes. We love those boys over there. They're, and they're not too far from you here at Treetops. You could head on over there and try it. Um, but they do can and distribute around the state. And so what is they this do. one called? So this one's called Juicy. Um, and, and to plug them as well, they are only about 45 minutes away from us. Uh, and there's a young man named Tyler over there who's who's one of the owners of the business. And you know we partner very well with them and do a lot of promotions with them. So they launched this beer this summer. Um, it was a crazy success right out of the gate. Um, like I said, though, the style of beer was kind of the new shiny toy of the summer. And uh, it was selling better than any other Michigan craft beer, I mean, from the minute it was released. So, I mean, this thing's crazy. It's a great beer. I love it. It's nice and fresh. It's um, Some New England IPAs come across. I was saying to you, Polly B, that yeah. they, they're chunky. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's true, yeah. This is very smooth, very crisp, uh, lots of nice citrus going on there. And everybody and, always asks me, what's a New England IPA? You know, what's the difference between that and any other IPA you might have? Right. And, you know, the answer to that in, in simple terms is it's a beer that's going to have aroma from hops or um, the brewing process that smells or tastes like fruit juice. Mm-hmm. So it's Hence not going to... the term. Juicy. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so it's not going to have maybe that pine or grapefruity or some of those other IPA traditional notes. This is a little more on the juicy side of life and it's a, and it's kind of soft some of them come right out there and you can really taste the fruit flavors i mean they're very uh, dominant but this has got a really soft uh kind of a background flavor that really balances the ipa and it's very very smooth it's not crisp but it's very smooth and sometimes the cloudiness you know the beer will even taste, in my mind, a little bit cloudy. But this has really got a nice, nice finish, and it's really drinkable. Very drinkable. It's a good, great beer. So, Gabe, thanks for picking our beer, beer of, of the, the week. week from Petoskey <laughs> Brewing Company. It's their Juicy New England IPA. All right, uh, Gonzo, you got any other events that are happening around the state? Yeah, a couple of events uh, in Flint. Uh, Lakeisha Jones, you might remember her from American Idol, will be performing at Whiting, at the Whiting in Flint, uh, January 13th, thewhiting.com for more information. Kalamazoo Beer Week. Kalamazoo Beer Week coming up January 13th week. through the 21st. KalamazooBeerWeek.com for more information. Don't forget the Tower of Power, 7th. 30 p.m. January 17th at the Forest Hills Fine Arts Center. More information at fhfineartscenter.com. Awesome. All right. Well, if people want to uh, come up and visit you, Gabe, at Treetops and try some of your amazing craft beer, where do they get more information? www.treetops.com. Awesome. And if someone wants to come up and spend the winter in Gaylord. Polly B, where do they go? GaylordMichigan.net. I love it. Well, people, you come on up and you can see us. Uh, we'll be up here for Alpen Frost, which is the first weekend in February. It's a great time. Plan your visit now. All right, John, where are we going to be next week? We, we don't, don't know. know. But stay tuned to Behind the Mitten to find out.